Hey guys, this is the Savior, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install CM11 KitKat 4.4.3 on your Xperia U. So let's begin. First of all, you do have Flash Tools on your PC. If you don't already have it, go to the links in the description and download it. Now open the version which is supported on your PC, that is 64 by 32 bit, and just uh, give it the permissions. Then click on the flash icon and select fast boot mode. Now it will open up a pop up window which will be named as fast boot toolbox. Now, here we have to select the kernel to flash. So, to get that kernel, we need to go to the custom ROM and extract the boot.img file from there. So, open the zip file and extract the boot.img to any folder you wish. Now uh, we go to fastboot toolbox and before selecting the kernel we need to prepare our device for fastboot mode and to do that we have to hold the volume up key while we plug in the USB cable to our device so hold the volume up key and plug in the USB cable and you'll get the left blue LED glowing on your device so now that you are in fastboot mode you go and choose the option select kernel to flash it will ask you to choose the kernel file that will be boot.img or kernel.sim so we have the boot.img file so we go to the location and select it the installation will be very quick just a matter of few seconds and it will give you a message that flash operation is complete so after that's done the flashing of the mage is done so we have the kernel now we can unplug the usb cable and power on our device so now we power on the device into recovery mode to do that keep pressing the volume up key while you see the sony logo on your device so this will land up the phone into recovery mode this one will be having touch based clockwork mode recovery so yep here we are presented with clockwork mode recovery now we go to the advanced option and I guess that's not much visible due to the brightness and we go to the advanced option and select pipe Dalvik cache it will ask you for confirmation just select yes and it will wipe the Dalvik cache now after that we go back and we do wipe data so it will do a factory reset on the device again select yes for the permission and just wait for it to complete Now the data wipe is done, so we wipe the cache partition again. Okay. Now for that we go to wipe cache partition and we again select yes for the permission. Now we confirm the wipe and it's done. So now we go to install zip option and choose zip from SD card and we look for our custom ROM that is CM11. Okay, so Here we have our custom ROM. We just go and install it. And let's I'll skip the video to the part where installation is done. So now the custom ROM is installed and we go back to the main menu and we select reboot device. So now the phone will boot up into the Cyanogen mod, hopefully, let's see, this boot will be much more longer than the normal usual boots because this is the first time the custom ROM is booting up. So you need to give it a few minutes to 3, 4 or maybe 5 minutes but not more than that. If it takes more than that it might be in a boot loop. But if you wish, you can skip the boot animation by clicking on the button right here that I provide. And it will skip the video to the part where the boot animation is done. And if you wish, you can see I have filmed the whole boot animation. And it will give you an idea of how long it can be. Otherwise, you can skip to the part. It will continue the video. And yep, let's wait for it to complete.
now the boot is done it will welcome you to the sign as in mod select your language press next and it will ask you for a setup I'll just complete the setup great quickly and continue so be back now the setup is done we are presented with the home screen it will give you some quick tutorial so what we do now is we power up the device again now we have to go again to the custom recovery so now the device is switched off now we again go to the custom recovery this time we need to flash the g-apps because without that the custom rom is incomplete it doesn't even have the play store in both applications so we do the same thing keep pressing the volume up key repeatedly and we'll land up in clockwork mode recovery so now we go to, again go to install zip option and select zip from HD card now this time instead of the custom ROM we have to select our gapps package so just select it and confirm the installation by selecting yes it will be very quick and mine is the smallest one I guess smallest package you can have different packages based on the, it will be based on how many applications and features it provides so just to show you guys I have just flashed the basic one it has two or three apps only I guess so let's see if it boots up this boot will be much more smaller compared to the first one as I said the first one was longer because it was the first time the phone was booting up now it shall, it shall be much more quicker let's see how long it takes yeah it's done and the android is upgrading the applications because we have just flashed a few applications now it will finish the boot and it's done I mean that's all so you can play around with the device Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one, take care.